And here we have a Lenovo flash drive. Now, is this real Lenovo? I'm not sure. Um, there are a lot of things that are being sold with the title of Lenovo on it, and um, they're questionable, let's just say. For example, this pair of headphones on Timu, it's like $5. Now, I don't think like the company Lenovo that makes great laptops and desktops are selling these uh, high quality headphones at $5, so it doesn't make sense to me. Or this one terabyte flash drive, which is for sure not one terabyte, it's for sure fake. It for sure is only like 64 gigabyte and then rewrites itself like a lot of the other scam flash drives. So I'm assuming that it's not from the real Lenovo. So I saw these on eBay, but I also found them on AliExpress. And on AliExpress, I was able to get it for $6.85. And here is the listing. Let me show it to you um, right here. And it's the one terabyte version I got and it's $4.54 plus $2.03. It says it's a Lenovo two terabyte flash drive. Creative Fitness Gift Silver Storage U-Disc. Okay, great. Um, here it is. So, here is the item specifications. Description. Uh, they usually ship according to one megabyte to a thousand kilobytes, one gigabyte to a thousand megabytes, all that stuff. There's certain differences in capacity and standard. Okay, that's true. Approximately 400 gigabytes. Okay, yeah, we got all that. Um, does it talk about how it's probably fake and how it probably does not hold the storage that it holds? Anyway, um, here is the information, the U-Disc, the metal casing, plenty of storage. Okay, uh, here's all the information that I was able to find on it. And so let's take a look at that flash drive. I come with a little Ziploc, which just says uh, a model number on it and just says a USB cable. I've seen this before. It's very generic packaging. And if you open it up, oops. There you go. It comes with this little lanyard, which is nice actually. And here's the flash drive. Is it made out of metal? I don't know. But if it is, it's made out of very thin metal. It's for sure not made out of the same metal as this top cell one, which is also pretty generic. However, the Lenovo one is even more generic than the generic one. Now, uh, something like a Samsung bar is actually metal, looks like this, and it actually uh, dissipates a lot of heat and using the whole thing as a heat sink. I don't think this is actually gonna do that. Now let's talk about the body. It's red on the inside. The inside is red, and as you can see, like there's a red over here. It's a little bit indented here because it's it's junky, so that's what happens. It's like went in a little bit, um, and there's plastic here, so you can put your lanyard inside. Inside over here, um, you can see. I'm gonna check really quick. Okay, now I don't know if you could see, uh, but I'm gonna try to show it to you. Inside of the flash drive, uh, there are no extra pins. Means it's only USB 2.0. So if it claimed that it is USB 3.0, it's completely wrong. Um, so a one terabyte flash drive in USB 2.0. That's gonna be a disaster. It claims all metal casing, but it's messing the casing of metal on the back. Um, and as far as the USB 3.0, I'm trying to find, yeah, it says its interface is USB 3.0, which is totally not true. So that's already one lie that it's telling um, that this is USB 3.0. It is surely not USB 3.0. And the size is very good. As you can see, it fits really nicely next to other flash drives um, because it's so small. It does not have an LED. Um, anywhere that I could see. There's no LED on it. However, it's probably a scam product, so it doesn't really make a difference. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it up with files and we're gonna see um, until what point uh, the files will start being uh, overwritten, because I assume there is software in here to, uh, or, you know, BIOS software, flash chip software, which makes it overwrite itself and uh, actually makes the files that are on it be rewritten even before the one terabyte is finished, probably after 64 gigabytes or so. So let's see how long that takes. Here I have the Noble flash drive. I plugged it into my laptop. Here's the device information. The use space is at 60 gigabytes and the free space is 916. Total space 976, one terabyte. Obviously I don't think it's actually one terabyte. I think it's really 64 gigabytes. And as soon as it finishes um, using up the actual space that's on it, it'll start rewriting other files. So let's check how my files are doing. So over here you see some videos have thumbnails and some of them do not. So over here I have an FC13 review and I'm going to play it. Totally working. Let's uh, go through it a little bit, see how it's doing. Totally could play. Okay, so this file is not affected yet. And remember, we just filled up the 64 gigabytes. So uh, let's say, for example, my gaming PC. Working. Okay, these are the ones that have thumbnails. But let's look at this gaming PC copy. And of course, all these are copies. And this gaming PC copy that just won't play. Nothing's happening. Let's try it again. Nothing happening. What about this FC13? Nothing happening. 
let's try to play it with a different folder, a different uh, program, media player. Nope, we can't open it. It's unsupported or probably because it's corrupt. Um, these are all MP4 files, they should work. See, for example, this one will work. Uh, I'll do the same video. This one will work in that uh, program, media player. So you see this format does work. And for example, this one also gonna have the same problem. This orange bar goes back and forth, not working. Now what happens if I play it in media player? I said it's giving me the same error. So some of the files have not yet been corrupted, but what happens is it's gonna start overwriting files. For example, this AliExpress NVMe drive, totally working. Um, this radar detector review, totally working. I don't see any problems yet, but let's say I go to the one next to it, which is a copy, it'll also have a problem. Uh, okay, I loaded a little bit of it, but obviously it's corrupted, um, and this drive will corrupt things. So we know after 64 gigabytes, it'll start getting corrupted. Let's run a little test called H2TestW. I'm getting this random error. I'm not sure what is going on, but it's clearly from this drive being weird. We're gonna select the target disk to be drive D. Now we could write and verify the entire drive, which is a big drive will take forever. But how about I just try to verify just, um, let's say 70 gigabytes. And that's 70,000 megabytes, I believe. So hopefully I did it right. If one terabyte is 938, then 70,000 is 70 gigabytes. So let's, let's start the test. It's gonna take forever, but I'm willing to do this. And it's gonna say, oh, the capacity is different and it might not do a full test. I know. Even if it's not doing a full test, it'll still have a problem. Watch. It's going to take forever because it transfers at 4 to 7 megabytes a second. Uh, so very slow and it's not USB 3.0. Um, and then it's going to verify testing the speeds. And in the verification, you'll see that there's going to be an error. So uh, we'll come back and see the error that this Lenovo flash drive is going to get. So here are the results for H2 test W on the Lenovo drive. Um, catastrophic failures. Uh, the media is likely to be defective. Yeah, no kidding. Um, all these files corrupted. 68 gigabytes. So I tested it on 70 gigabytes, and 68 gigabytes are corrupted. Wonderful. Um, and then all the errors. Yeah. So uh, basically, this is completely corrupted. Here are all the H2 test W files. It's only a fraction of the disk being used. That's funny. It already has so many fingerprints on it. Uh, so yeah, one terabyte, not true. Um, so shame on whoever this Lenovo is. Shame on you for creating a flash drive that corrupts files. Um, it's basically the worst thing that anyone that has files could want because it will give you the false sense of having your data protected while actually corrupting it. Um, and that's pretty terrible, honestly. It's disgusting. So shame on Lenovo, but not the Lenovo that we know and love. Not the ThinkPad Lenovo. Talking about the fake Lenovo, whoever these people are that are putting Lenovo's name on everything and making a mockery of the tech world. Anyway, uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, like and subscribe if you can. Help me a lot to get to a thousand subscribers. Have a great day. Hey.